Welcome to the Genomi Studio. My name is Ann Hine, and today we're going to talk about the knife feature in the Artistic Digitizer software. This is a project that I did earlier where we took a letter and we split it, and there'll be a link in the description so you can go to the video for this one so you can see how I actually did the split letter for there. But I used the same knife feature over here when I did this um, honeycomb with the bees on it. The honeycomb actually came from the Genomi 15,000 and it was very rectangular. So I cut different parts of the honeycomb off and I reattached them in other areas around here to make it more organic looking. And then I added the bee and the bee I believe is in the program and you can take the bee and make it different sizes so it looks like you have little bees and big bees on your hive. So let's get started. When I started the embroidery for my bee jacket, it didn't start like this. I actually stitched the um, hive and three of the bees first, and um, it would look it looked like this. So that's what I got done first. And after I got it on there, I thought, ooh, I don't really like that, and I'm gonna have to make some changes and add some things to it just to make it look less like I just slapped an embroidery on my jacket. Um, so I had to get a little creative. So let me tell you first how I got this part done and then where I went from there. I started this project using this design and this de hive design is from the M MC15000, the Genomi Memorycraft 15000 and at the time I was using the 550E so this is the hoop that it's in and when I got it in here, I knew, I knew it's not going to fit in here. So I was going to have to clip it away. Anyway, so I came in here and used my uh, drawing tool for digitize outline shape. Left click, left click, right click, and shape. Go to selection and select it all. And then we go to my favorite tool when we right click and knife. Knife will clip um, sections away for you. We'll clip your embroidery. So I went in here and this part gets clipped away and I could just delete it. And then there are some little pieces right in here that can be selected and deleted or you can select and delete them right from your sequence window too. So once I had all those done I brought my bees in. It looked like this and I stitched it on and that's when I decided yeah, I got to do a little bit more to this. So, what I did was to get this. What I did is I used my base design and I clipped away parts to make these extra parts and put them on and I added some extra bees. So, to do that, I took a copy of this hive. So, I'm going to right click on there, copy, right click again, and paste then I could just grab this and bring it over here. Now I like to work um, without any grid lines for this project and without my hoop on there because I went up to view and you can turn your grid and your hoop off here and then I do like a nice white background and you can change your background colors under fabric and I like the, the fabric none normal so it's nice and white so I can I, I can see it a lot better but everybody has their preference so pick what you like and work the way you like to work so this top section I know is loose because I clipped it away before so I'm gonna have to ungroup here and then take this top section so this is the part I brought up here and I you know I tried to put it in different places and see what I liked and and I didn't quite have it where I wanted it and realized oh if I flip this design I think you know I want it to curve around a little bit so I think that would be better so up here in my toolbox as long as my piece is selected I can click on mirror and it turns my design flips it for me and then I can put it in place once I got it in place these little pieces out here these little extra pieces I use the knife tool again to delete those so I'll show you that quickly. Select Digitize Outline Shape. Left click, left click, right click, and shape. I could do this one. Left click, left click, right click, and shape. Selection tool. Select all of it. 
Now when you select all of it and you do right click knife, it's only going to clip one of those and then you'll have to select again and do knife and it'll clip the other one. So now both these parts are separate pieces and I can delete them off of here. So that's how I got that piece ready. And then once it once it was the shape I wanted it to be, I brought it in here and placed it on the hive like so. And then to cover up um, any joins that maybe I didn't think they were going to look good, I brought the bee in and laid it on top of there like this. And we're going to rotate this around a little bit so it covers. So let me take the gold one out of the way since we don't need it so you can see. So there's the bee and he can be placed there, he can be enlarged or whatever you need to do to kind of cover that up. Now when I was placing this I was using the MC15000 and I really like the apps that go with that so I used the AccuSetter app to place it on there and then in AccuSetter you can actually move the bee around a little bit more or I could go to my edit screen and move the bee a little bit too to put him right where I wanted him to be. Or you can add him last afterwards too. So once I got that one done I went and worked on the bottom one and this little section so I just you know I just looked at different sections and made some clips and dragged pieces over. This little piece I'll show you came from this section right here. And then he was sitting right back there. So, so that's where that is. And then I added a B on top of there so we'd have a, a cover for the part right here in case this was a little bit not looking so great. And again, I found a little piece over here that I liked and I just used it and added it on right there. So once I got this view of all my pieces so I could see them, I went ahead and selected different groupings and put them in separate hoops. So this section here with the B I had, I put it in another hoop. There it is. And this way I can print a template. So if you don't have any apps to work with or you don't have the cloth setter, um, and you can use the cloth setter with this too, or you're just using the grids that come with your hoop, what you want to do is take your design like this now go to print and then in the print function here's my design it has all the information about my design even down here the different steps stabilizers down here all of that and my centering arrow is in here but I don't need all this extra stuff so I can come over here to the dialog box and do design only and then I, I do want my start point because I do want to be able to place this. So I would print this out and trim it close and then I would take it to my jacket and lay it on my jacket, either pin it or tape it in place. And then when I lay my jacket, I would hoop some stabilizer, lay my jacket over the hooped stabilizer and using the grid from my hoop, the centering grid, I would align the center of the grid to the center of my crosshair and then it would be perfectly placed on there. Take it to my machine and then I would stitch it out. Now if you placed it and then you get to your machine and you get the hive part um, stitched and it's not quite where you want it, you can take your design into your edit screen and move your, you can maybe move your B or or bring the bee back in. Don't stitch the bee yet. You could bring the bee back in and place the bee anywhere you like to. Alright, I hope you like this project. I'm Ann Hine and we have um, included my email address so if you have questions on the software or the project you can email me. We also put in tech support's email so if you have software issues um, you would contact tech support for that. So thank you everybody. Hope you enjoy the project.